Maggie. This month, we're putting our focus on something really important. And it's actually something you can't see. I'm talking about faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. We have a new song to learn today. It's called Only Focus, and it's a fun one. So sing along once you catch on. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you I know where my hope is. I live it loud. I shut the chorus because I know, oh, you're always for us. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. I will believe, believe. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. I will believe and keep on looking, looking. For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, on looking, looking to you I'll fix my, I'll fix my eyes, eyes. looking to Jesus each and every day. Listen to this from Hebrews 12 2. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. You can put your faith in the one who will always be there for you. Let's look at today's Bible story. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Hebrews, chapters 11 and 12. Gotta have a little faith, 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 faith. Keep the faith. Take a leap of faith. You know, a lot of people toss around the word faith lately. We say you can break the faith or just take it all on blind faith. But true faith 
isn't blind at all. It's much more than just an inspirational word. True faith has to do with believing in all the things you can't see because you start with what you can see. Now, we can't see God with our physical eyes, but we can see the stories of people who came before us. Um, they lived in a broken world like we do, but they chose to follow God. They chose to trust his promise that one day he would send a rescuer that would make everything right again. The writer of uh, Hebrews in the New Testament tells us about some of these men and women in God's story. People like Noah, people like Abraham. Abraham. When God called Abraham, he was already getting old. He and his wife, Sarah, didn't have kids. Leave your country and your people. Leave your father's family. Go to the land I will show you. All nations on earth will be blessed because of you. God was planning on sending his rescuer as one of Abraham's great, 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 etc. grandchildren. But still, even though Abraham had God's promise, he still couldn't see the one God was sending. Still, Abraham went on a wild adventure following God's call. And even his descendants, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph, all chose faith in God. Moses, too, was called by God from the fiery heart of a burning bush. Even though he was raised by Pharaoh's daughter, he chose to stand with his own people and face Pharaoh's anger to win freedom. We read about it like this in the book of Hebrews. Moses suffered shame because of Christ. He thought it of great value. See, when you check out Hebrews, you discover this huge list of people who followed God by faith, so many that the writer just stops trying to list all of them. Oh, but we can't forget Israel's most important king, David. Get up and anoint him. This is the one. Even though God had promised David would be king though, David spent years on the run from King Saul, fearing for his life. Still, he chose to trust God. The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. Now, none of these people in the Old Testament could see with their eyes how God was going to save his people, but they could see how he was working in their lives, how their needs were being met. So they chose to believe in his greater plan. They chose faith. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. That is what the people of long ago were praised for. Now, here's where the story turns. In Hebrews, we discover that none of those people in the Old Testament received what God had promised here on earth. That's because God had planned something better for us. So they would only be made perfect together with us. God's plan includes all of us from the very beginning of creation. So at just the right moment, at the perfect point in time, God sent his rescuer, the hero, his very own son, Jesus. Jesus showed us how to live. He showed us what God was like and he told us the most important thing. If you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. Love God, love others. It's the heart of the whole story. But then Jesus was killed and his friends thought the story was finished. Period, dot, the end. Until God raised him back to life. Jesus has defeated death and those who follow him can live with him forever. But how do you follow someone you can't see? Well, that brings us back to faith. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith and he is the one who completes this journey of faith. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. So think about him, then you won't lose hope. The early believers, Peter and John and other followers of Jesus had seen him teach and heal. They saw him after God raised him to life. But after Jesus returned to heaven, the believers continued to live by faith. We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. Because of what the new Christians in the early church had seen, they could believe in what they could not yet see, the end of the story, where God makes everything right. They kept the faith, and because they did, we can choose faith too. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us so many examples of people all throughout history who chose to put their faith in you. 
They couldn't always see how it would all work out, but they chose to trust you. Thank you for reminding us today that we can trust in you and your promises, even though we don't see how they're going to work out. Help us to remember when it's hard, when we feel frustrated or afraid, that we can trust you and put our faith in you. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God's story is so big. It's amazing to look back at all of the people who believed in God and put their faith in him. People like Abraham, Moses, and David. They trusted in what they couldn't see. They believed that God is faithful. They believed that God would keep his promises. They believed that it's always worth it to follow his plan. Remember, faith is being sure of what we don't see. That's what it says in Hebrews 11.1, 1, which is actually our memory verse for this month. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1. 1. We can have faith in Jesus even though we can't see him. Not only can we read about who Jesus is and what he's done, but we can also look to others who follow Jesus too. When you know how he's worked in other people's lives, you can see how he can work in your life. The truth is there will be times in our lives where it feels like we can't see. There will be things we don't understand. And there will be times when we aren't sure how it'll all work out. But through all of it, we can trust Jesus and choose to have faith. You can know Jesus even though you've never seen him. You might wonder where to start with all of this. Where do you start to put your faith in Jesus? Well, you can talk to someone who does follow and trust in Jesus, like maybe a parent or someone else in your family. You can ask them how they put their faith in Jesus. You can also read the stories of the men and women in the Bible who chose to trust in Jesus. When you see and hear how others have put their faith in Jesus, it can help you do the same. Before we close with some more fun worship music, check out what MC Haggis has to say about faith. Uh, hey there. Uh, this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFavorites. Give him a sample, Seamus. Hey. Oh, all right, all right, okay, okay, okay. Let me explain, folks. You see, I shaved off my beard. And Seamus here refuses to believe it's really me. MC Haggis, the world's greatest Scottish rapper. Hey. Oh, okay, okay. Come on now, Seamus. You can see it's me by now, don't you? Huh? Hey. You don't think it's me because you can't see my beard. Hey! Okay, okay, take a look at this then! Hey! Hey! What? No, 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 this is not a dead animal. It's my beard. Look! Oh! Hey! See, see, I told you it was me! <laughs> hey! What do you mean it's not me? Look! Hey! See! All hey. right, all right, hold, look! Hey. See? Hey. Okay, hey. okay, look. Hey. See? Okay, look. Hey. See? Okay, okay, fine. Hold it. I know how to solve this facial recognition problem once and for all. Let's rap about it. Huh? Huh? Kick it. Seamus didn't think of me, cause my beard was absentee. But he, his mind changed completely because he trusted in what he couldn't see because of what he could see. Face word. Ah. Huh? You convinced now? Ah, yeah, you yeah. are. <laughs> oh, kind of looks like a boomerang, doesn't it? Hey. Oh, let's, let's try it. <laughs> Here it comes. Whoa, whoa, we're doing a 720. Whoa! Look at hey, that! Hey! 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 That's hey. A, no! No! It's, it's just my beard again. Safe in the Savior's hands You are more than my words can say I'll follow you, Lord, for all my days I'll fix my eyes, follow in your ways Forever free in unending grace Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom We lift you higher, lift you higher
sleepless nights Let your love be the shining light Breaking chains that were holding me You say your sun down and set me free Cause you are, you are, you are